Hey everybody, welcome back to another Conductor plugin demo. And today we're going to talk about building basic services pages, or almost like a portfolio page of your services or of your client services uh, website when you're building out a website for them. And I'm sort of modeling it after my good friend uh, Bob from BobWP.com and kind of looking at how he set up his WordPress site setup landing page, right? These are the services he's providing with this WordPress website setup service. And I'm going to show you how to kind of build that with Conductor and our up and coming starter theme that's actually going to come with Conductor uh, called Symphony. That'll be available at ConductorPlugin.com and SlocumThemes.com. So one of the things that I'm doing that's slightly different than Bob is these are just sort of text widgets that he has here. It doesn't link to any extra content. Uh, in our case, because Conductor works with post types or, or excuse me, posts or custom post types, uh, we want uh, pieces of content to represent our services. So uh, for instance, the difference here is when you, you, you can't click on install WordPress, but you'd be able to click on install WordPress on ours, which would link it to a post that could potentially have more content about that service, right? Some more ex, uh, exploratory stuff or uh, pricing and things like that. And I'm keeping it very basic. So I'm not using custom post types or anything crazy. I'm using core conductor which is available in the, in the blogger version of Conductor. And we're just using posts and categories. So what does that take, what does that look like and what does that look like in our starter theme? So because they are regular blog posts, these are our services um, replicating Bob's stuff and it you know follows the same WordPress blog post that lands in the archive, that kind of thing. But we want to populate a services page. So let's go ahead and do that with Conductor and these posts uh, categorized under services. So I'm going to go ahead and conduct this page, which will enable Conductor uh, on this single page of our WordPress site. And then I'm going to give it the full width layout because that's what Bob's doing. So we're going to just kind of mimic what he has going on. And I'm simply going to drop in uh, a Conductor widget and I'm going to say, show us all the services. And when it goes and, and, and we do this, by default, we're going to output uh, the large display of Conductor, which is perfect for full width, especially if you're building a magazine or a, a, just another blog page. But we want to build a grid like a portfolio page of our services. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to medium. And I'll sort of just collapse that. And you can see here is our grid of services. We have six services here and they're both and they're all side by side. But we don't want things that say posted by Slocum Studio with a continue reading. That's very, uh, you know, uh, very core WordPress. And we want this ser services page to look like Bob. So we're going to remove the author byline, simply uh, uh, or hide that and uh, hit the little uh, uh, display setting there. And then we're going to not show the continue reading. And it's going to be starting to look like Bob's layout. Now he puts uh, the title above his featured image there. We can easily do that too. We can just grab the field, drag it above featured image. And now we are uh, very much more on par with what Bob's doing. So again, let's just explore, uh, expand that, take a look at it and boom, there's our grid of services. These are both clickable elements. They would go into the individual post. So let's just save that, what we've done so far. And we'll take it a step further with um, things that you can do with Conductor and the up and coming symphony theme. So one thing that's already freely available is our note widget. And we're gonna add that widget to this display. I'm gonna put that above this. And just take a look at what Bob says on his. So he says, Bob WP WordPress site setup. So maybe I'll say the same, Bob WP WordPress site setup. We'll go ahead and highlight, oops, we'll go ahead and hide, if I can get this with my mouse, go ahead and highlight that, center it. Give it an H2. And I might just go on another line and say, I help people launch their word. Oops. I help people launch their website. So I'll also highlight that and center that as well. So that's just adding some, some depth to our conductor view, right? Our, our conductor display. And that's note, that's the note widget, right? So it's just like that. And whatever that took, a couple minutes, we have ourselves a nice little uh, grid of our services with some context wrapped around that with some call to actions. But let's say we want to fine tune this uh, fonts, these fonts of the conductor widget. And now you can do that when you combine conductor with symphony. 
So we can go under the conductor typography settings. We'll go to the medium display because that's what I'm using here. And we can change things like the title font size. You know, by default, it's 40. Let's shrink that down. Let's, let's maybe say 28. See what that looks like when that refreshes. So there you go. It shrinks it down a little bit. It's not as overwhelming. And oh, by the way, if we wanted to change a font, I mean, I think we come, we package Symphony with about just over 40 um, of the top themes or the top fonts that are used around the web. So I don't know. Let's just try this one for now. And maybe our default paragraph text needs or content text needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's bump that up to, let's go to 22. Let that stand out a little bit more. Okay, so let's just give that some breathing room. Let's see what we have. So it's starting to look uh, a little bit uh, more like Bob Services page. So now if I were Bob and I was using Symphony and Conductor, what I would do is I'd give myself some um, abilities to kind of clean the site up. So let's just go and, and I'm going to go fairly fast because I don't want to give away too much about, our, about the upcoming theme, but I want to show you just enough and I can do things like change the background. You can see I went from fluid width or full width to uh, a sort of boxed width. I can do that there. I can also say my main header. I can center that. And that'll center this. And oh, by the way, since we are representing Bob, let's choose a logo instead of the text. Let's add that logo there. Save and publish. Close this so you can get a better feel for it. And we're done, right? And just like that, we've created ourselves a nice little grid of our services. We've uh, cleaned up the layout a little bit and centered our logo. And if we're, you know, a, a freelancer or a consultant or we're building a site for somebody else, this is a great quick way uh, to build these services landing pages for folks using Conductor uh, and using the up and coming Symphony theme. If you have any questions, it's conductorplugin.com slash contact. And you can always tweet to us. It's at Slocum Studio. Uh, drop us a line if you have any questions about using Conductor for your next project. Thanks, everybody.